Okay. This time I'm going to go into Lone Echo and we're going to do some training modules. <clears throat> okay. First introduction to the environment in here. It's kind of neat. V anyway, very, I mean, graphics are nice. Smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are a bit lower than I'd like. Oh, we had some sputtering on the number 12 RCS thruster, but Jack and I managed. Oh, Jack. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged, Captain Rose. Morning, sunshine. And how are we feeling today? Hey. What was all that about? Hera, let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. There <clears throat> you go, Jack. I'll see you in a few. Module D221, Manual Dexterity. Okay, get to get I used to our hands. Central AI for the Kronos 2 orbital mining facility. I will guide you through this calibration program. First, close your hand to form a fist. Now extend your index finger. Good. To proceed, use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. Now reach out and grab the glowing disc that just appeared. Okay, let's see if I can when make... you are ready, throw the disc into the goal in front of you. There we go. Target hit. Excellent throw. Calibration module yeah. complete. Please stand by. I was aiming for the center. Module M101. Basic motor functions. Please pull the handle above you to exit the activation pod. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. Please take your time and follow the guide. Carefully climb up the slope to continue. Now carefully pull yourself forward and release to glide to the exit. Calibration module complete. Module M205, maneuvering thrusters. There we go. <clears throat> like the thrusters. Your hands are equipped with maneuvering thrusters, allowing you to move more freely in zero gravity. Activate left thruster. Activate right thruster. Now please exit the activation pod and use your maneuvering thrusters to reach the door ahead. Thrusters can be used in short bursts or held down for continuous usage. Please press the hollow button near the door to proceed. Good. Now navigate the environment using only your maneuvering thrusters. Do not grab any surfaces during this test. Usually I do. This isn't too hard usually, except if you touch anything, you explode. So. Master calibration at 50%. <clears throat> it's done that to me a couple of times, but you get a new body if you do. To try, try again. Calibration module complete. Module C-111, communication. We will now calibrate your communication system. 
When someone speaks to you, a reply notification may appear above your wrist. You may then respond by holding down the dialog button on either hand and selecting a reply with your index finger. Hold down the dialog button now. Input confirmed. Now hold down the dialog button and select a reply. Like this. Correct. Vocal selection acknowledged. Often you will have a limited time to select a reply. In these cases, silence is considered a viable option. Do you understand? Acknowledged. I'm ready to proceed. Understood. Continuing calibration. Now exit the activation pod, and move into the room ahead. Hello, labor unit. You can also initiate conversations at points of interest throughout the world. If you look at certain people or objects while you are close to them, their name will appear, and an icon will indicate that you can use the dialogue button. You may then hold down the dialogue button and select an option, just like a reply. Now start a conversation with the labor unit, and speak about the Fury transport model in this room. I guess that's similar to my model. Unit 42, what is your primary directive? <clears throat> to assure the safety and well-being of Kronos 2 station got, personnel. You only got three digits. What is your secondary directive? Preserving the integrity of Atlas Corporation property and equipment. Hmm. Well, let me go on a rampage, eh? Please talk about the two points of interest in the room to continue. A Mark I Fury transport, 148th scale. Be advised, while real Fury transports can be used to travel to distant locations across the Kronos 2 station, I do not recommend attempting to ride this one. Noted. Communication system fully calibrated. Would you like to proceed to the next module? I'm ready to proceed. Acknowledged. Communication system fully calibrated. Please stand by. Module A-131, Data Scanner. Your scanning tool allows you to collect data on anything in the environment. Please exit the pod to begin calibrating it. Please follow me to the disk spawner at the back of the room. Now activate your scanner by pressing the button on top of your hand. Both of your hands have this functionality. Good. Now aim the scanner at the I.O. port on the disk spawner and hold the trigger to initiate a scan. Please scan the I.O. port to continue. After scanning something, its name will appear next to your hand on the scanner's data tab. To see the results of your scan, grasp the tab and pull it away from your hand. Pull the data tab now. Excellent. Use the button on top of your hand to deactivate the scanner now. Good. To complete this module, gather scan data on five other materials or objects. Four scans remaining. Three scans remaining. Two scans remaining. Initiating human sarcasm. I thought we were friends, Echo One. One scan remaining. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Module A, 901. Reactive Cutter. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the door ahead. Okay. These are kind of cool. Activate your reactive cutter by pressing the glowing touch point on the underside of your wrist. Highlighting cuttable surface. Use the reactive cutter to cut through the highlighted brackets. Cutter functionality test complete. Lift open the door to proceed.
highlighting cuttable surface. Use your reactive cutter to cut out a portion of the highlighted panel. Once you have cut away enough of the panel, press the hollow button to complete this calibration module. Yep. Shut it off. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Module H-144, Helmet Visor. You can open and close your helmet visor by pressing the button on the left side of your helmet with your index finger. Please open your helmet visor now. Now please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. You can activate your headlamp by pressing a button on the right side of your helmet. Once your headlamp is on, shine it on my location. Well done. I am moving to new coordinates in the next room. Find me and shine your headlamp on my location. Hmm. There's no hide and seek. Except that I know where it is. Excellent. Please press the button on the right side of your helmet to turn off the headlamp and complete the module. Calibration module complete. 